Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Using a bottom round roast, cut yourself a quarter inch slice all the way off the top layer. Just like that. Using a needling device, we'll tenderize each piece that we're going to cook. Salt and pepper. Whisk a couple eggs in one bowl and put your flour in another. Seasoning it with some paprika, some pepper, and this adobe made by Goya, which is a garlic powder seasoning. Whisk thoroughly. Dredge the steak in the flour then the egg wash, and back in the flour again. Thoroughly coat and cover. Then set aside for five minutes. Have a rack ready on the side of your skillet, and coat the pan, hot pan that is, with enough oil to cover the whole bottom. Then add your steak. It only takes a few minutes on each side to thoroughly cook. Just get a nice golden brown. Once you've achieved a golden brown on both sides, just remove it and set it on a wire rack and let it drip dry. Now in our remaining oil, we're going to add some of the flour that we dredged our steak in. Just a few tablespoons and whisk in with the oil, making a roux. Once you've done that, we're going to add a couple of cups of chicken stock. In this case, I'm just using some bouillon. Once you've whisked that, it'll start to thicken. And now we're going to add our milk. You can use cream, or half and half, if you'd like it a little richer and a little thicker. But just add a little bit at a time, bring it to a boil, and then season. This is Italian seasoning. Right over the top of the steak. You have it. Chicken fried steak right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by PoorMan'sGourmetKitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.